Is everyone excited about this? Yes! Good, good to see everyone today. <laughs> Natasha, how are you? I'm very well. That's how are you? Good, thank you. And um, what have we got today? Do you want to share some of the ingredients we've got? Absolutely. Hi guys, my name is Natasha. As you can hear from my accent, I didn't come from around here, I came from Karendale. <laughs> no, I originally came from Russia. Before I start the demonstration, I would like to quickly touch base on the doctrine of signatures because I find it pretty amazing and it's something that has changed my life, so I would really like to share that. Has anyone heard of the doctrine of signatures? No. Okay. Our body is separated in three parts, upper part, middle part, and our down part, our kind of fruit system. Any fruits or vegetables are not in seed in the wall grows the same way, above the ground, on the tree, on the ground, and under the ground. Let's think about that. Tomato. It's red. It has four chambers. It does remind you of a part of your body. Which part is that? Heart. Tomato contains like a bean, which is the red fabric, which makes it red. And like a bean, it is very good for your heart. Avocado. Grows for nine months. Exactly how long it takes to carry the baby. What does it remind you of? And it's just beginning, guys. Uh, walnut grows on the tree. Looks like a brain. High in amigas. Good for your brain. Celery. Looks like a bone. Cracks like a bone. There are many doctors now suggesting have osteoporosis to take celery. And it keeps going and going and going. So pan pancreas, like your sweet potato. So there are really nutrients in it that need it for that particular organ. So that inspired my passion to start cooking the whole foods. Start cooking what nature has given us because it has been given to us for a reason. The only problem is sometimes we don't know how we can use that patch or that nut or something like that. And that's what my classes are for. I want to ignite the passion within you to cook with a whole food, to cook with those products which are here to nourish your body. And we are going to start with baby rice. It's very easy, very recipe, extremely easy, but very delicious. It's when I ask at the end of a class, what was your favorite? That's the most favorite of most of the people, but the whole channel is going to be for you. What's it called? Berry rice. Berry rice. Yeah. So if you think of a cherry rice, it's kind of that version. It's the only problem is we don't have cherries now, but when you have cherries, please replace it with cherries. Alternatively, you can do it with mangoes, sweet, anything, no, probably not apples, not carrots, but many kind of a fruit, yeah. So to make a cherry rice, what I'm going to do, grab two pieces of baking paper, I'm gonna make it in the dishes like that, and just make them a little bit more places so I can put it inside there, and then can take it out much more comfortably. We don't have any fridge or freezer here, so we'll have to, I'll make you adjustment, but I'll talk you through how you're gonna make it at home, because that's something that you're gonna use your fridge and freezer for. And what ingredients do we have for this? And so, so if you think of a very right, or any kind of a, you know, I mentioned, 
escape or something, it has few legs. So we have the bottom layer, we have the top layer, uh, middle layer, and the top layer. That's how our belly rub is going to go. So for the bottom layer, we are going to use some dates, few dates mixed with some nuts. Um, I strongly believe in bi-individuality. I believe in the fact that what's good for me can be poison for you. All my recipes can be adjusted to your choice. If I say walnuts and you don't like them, use banana that you like. Use cashew, use absolutely anything you like. The only thing is you need to use this because that's going to provide you that what's needed for that particular recipe. Yeah? And have you soaked those dates beforehand or anything? No, you need to roll dates. No, you need dates are soft enough. You can see why like, called nature, nature caramel and it is. So not mutual dates, but if you have Iranian dates, that were quite hot, I would soak them before, yes. So that's going to be our bottom layer. And what's that machine you've got over there? It's Thermomix. I try not to use that machine because of people think it is a, it is absolutely great machine. I've been with it for 10 years. I pretty much came to Russia with first model of Thermomix and I have upgraded it to a better one. It is a great investment, but please don't think you need that to cook healthy. Please don't think for the recipes which I am doing here, you need that machine or you need a blender. Preferably high speed blender, preferably one of the blenders which can actually mix it up, but yeah, it doesn't matter otherwise. Absolutely any blender. So I feel like I'm going to use uh, walnuts. So what I'm going to do is mix my dates with my walnuts. Kind of make a bread for your brain. Russian for your brain, yeah. So we're going to be keeping that in mind. That's sort of all consciously keeping in mind why are we doing that why are we putting that ingredients what's good health that's pretty much how i get my kids get healthy yeah because they know why what's up you know come in does it be sick still people on the outside if you want to come down so what I try to get from there is that kind of a mixture. So it's gonna go on the bottom of my cherry ripe, and that's gonna be playing the role of a biscuit, of a biscuit it up, and it is like that. Have you guys been to Charlie's Raw Sweets? Yeah, so I'm a food developer there, so all the sweets, that's what I develop, and that's the recipe which I have created. And if you will see, some of the sneaky slots does look like a real, you know, biscuit at the bottom, but it's not. It's just a mixture of, uh, I don't know, it's a very good um, no. Do you want to tell us about what Charlie's Raw Sweets is, Natasha? Charlie's Raw Sweets is probably, yeah, it's uh, fastest growing, not just in Brisbane, I'd say in Australia. Uh, so we are at the moment 12 different, uh, 12 branches across Brisbane. We make vegan food, so all of everything we sell in the branches is vegan. All of it has been designed by us, making sure that that's good for your health. So we do make, I can definitely guarantee we make everything from scratch, every single salad, every single dessert, and then it's made from scratch. I don't even buy peanut butter, nothing like that. I buy peanuts and I make peanut butter out of them, that's how I start making it here. And it's mostly raw sort of food as well? Not the raw. So it's juices, smoothies, salads, um, desserts, coffees. I'd say it's not all raw, but talking about that, do you guys know why is it better to eat raw, or is it even better to eat raw? Anyone? What's what's the difference, for instance, between cacao and cocoa? You know what? Like today, to the most active person at the end of the class, I'm gonna give a free ticket to my friend. Yeah, and salad class is pretty good. I just had one yesterday. Both one yesterday, and yeah, people like. You might have to yell out your answer. But why? Why do I want to eat my? Yes. Oh, I can't see. Any other ideas? Why would you think? that raw food might be better for you than cooked food. In preparation, the things that are on the show. Also, enzymes. 
you are all of all the tickets. Yes. It is about enzymes. So any kind of a food on the planet comes with its own enzymes to digest itself. When you heat it over 48 degrees, the enzymes dry. And then your body has to produce enzymes to digest the food. The thing about if you have a pizza or pasta that you don't like, that's the reason because your body has to work hard to produce enough enzymes to digest the food for you to eat them. It doesn't mean I tell you to eat only raw food, but all I mean is you're always going to free up some energy from your body by eating raw food, which is quite good, absolutely. And yes, it is high in nutrients, yes, you know, absolutely better. With nuts, I activate them, I absorb much better. And we are up to our second layer, which is, we're going to use desiccated coconut. So some desiccated coconut. I'm not washing it, I don't really need that. I will speak about cooking vegan, there's no contamination there really. Like, yeah. Can you see that in the mirror? That the yeah. Oh. It's going to plan then. <laughs> so, as you can see, uh, I don't really follow any recipes. I never don't. That's why baking never worked out for me because of means recipe. If you don't follow recipe, it doesn't work out. But approximately, I can show you it goes one cup of desiccated coconut against one, against one cup of berry or fruit of your choice. <coughs> Same method, to have a vegan ebook, my vegan ebook with my recipes. So if you do want that, probably would invite you know, the easiest, considering where we are, would be if you can email me on natasha at rosquiz.com. You will find me on Facebook, that's quite possible as well. Send me your email and I can email you the recipes of everything we cook today, plus it's going to be some extra. Yeah? So if you are anxious that you won't be able to repeat it at home because you, you need to follow the recipe for that, then please feel free to message me and I will send you the email. And you're um, on Facebook. What's the name of your Facebook page? I'm happy to add it. Like, it's my personal account, Natasha CH. Mm -hmm. Is it a kitchen remedy? Kitchen remedy, yeah. yeah. Kitchen remedy brand under which I teach your classes or raw squeeze. You can find me in all the sources. You can contact me through any of those sources, absolutely. But otherwise, I share from the main source of my own personal profile. And, yeah. mm -hmm. I think that's one of the philosophies which I follow. Cook is about, cooking is about connection. It's about doing it together. It's about what we, you know, who we are. So I do like to feel connected to people and I'm happy to on my profile. Okay, rice malt syrup. Why rice malt syrup is better than maple syrup? Anyone else? Yes. Low GI. Low GI. So in, in another word, it literally has no fructose. Fructose is something that spikes our insulin. So it is in a maple syrup, it is not in a rice malt syrup. So I do like to use it and I change the sweetener across all Chinese rose pieces to that sweetener because it's a healthy choice. Definitely. So I'm adding some sweetener to there. Then I'm gonna add some. Um, and if, if some of you in the audience aren't vegan, um, these, there's lots of alternatives you can use to honey as well. This is just one of them that Natasha's yeah, using. Yeah. yeah, agave, honey, just an absolute sweet of your choice. Plus, I soak my um, dates with water and then yeah, use it as a sweet as well. I call it dates syrup. Sorry, vanilla. Vanilla. I did put some vanilla. That's optional, but I do like how vanilla comes across here. Okay, salt. I'm gonna put some of Himalayan pink salt. Why do I use Himalayan pink salt, not white processed salt? What's so good about that? No idea. No idea? No idea. Yeah. Well, yes, it contains 76 minerals. It is very good. It's full of minerals in there, but in saying that, I wanna just attract your attention to one fact. It is not a sea salt. We are like nowadays in the sea minerals. We are like in a norris and all everything which around the sea we need more of it and that's not that. So that's the that's ground salt. Make sure you still have some healthy or sea salt in your diet. Don't replace all the salts in your house with Himalayan salt because it will not be the right thing to do. One more thing, we're gonna add some coconut cream here. Yeah. Not one more, but one more. Okay. And some coconut oil. Absolutely love it. 
we use a table right home for your um, for oil cooling in the morning, for to cook food, to add to food, for desserts, for absolutely anything. Does anyone know what's so good about coconut oil? Well, one of the facts that fascinates me, yes. Yes, absolutely, yes. It belongs to the fatty acid, which is actually quite rare, and that's very good for your health, for your um, heart health. It's much, because it's very high antimicrobial properties as well, antibacterial, so it can actually support the immune system very well. And also, what the fact which I like about it, it contains uric acid. Uric acid only found in coconut oil and in breast milk, nowhere else. So that's pretty much uh, one of the good properties, and I'm sorry, I'll turn it again. I forgot one very important ingredient. What is it? Sam. In anything you cook, guys, you have to add flour. You absolutely have to. Please don't go in the kitchen and cook while you're angry, while you're anxious, while anything. Bring yourself to a piece. Like in my kitchen, how do I remind myself about it? I've got little Buddha stations on one side, I've got candle on another side, I've got that sign in third side. So anyway, I'll look, I remember bringing myself to the kitchen, thinking about nourishing the body, thinking about the lump one for cooking. That's very important. Yeah? So we're gonna add some love in there. Don't forget. Okay. Um, so that's how you want that to be. And then when you're gonna put it, we're gonna put it to the freezer when we're at home or fridge. But because we don't have fridge or freezer and I want you to try it, I'm gonna add a little bit more desiccated coconut to make it a tiny bit harder. So you actually have a chance to yeah, try to respond. So I'm adding more desiccated coconut, which is gonna be over one cup. But at home, we only need one cup. It's gonna be perfectly hot in the fridge. It's gonna go here, yeah, still be able to pass it. Natasha, could you use frozen berries for this? Absolutely, just don't forget to defrost them. Because if you want to defrost them, the liquid coconut oil, which you're gonna, I did put in, gonna go up straight away. So you don't want that. That's why we wanna make sure it's both. Done. Now I'm gonna put that mixture into my press and top it up with some fresh berries. That's what we have. I'll let you smell it and you tell your own how it smells. Yeah. I can smell it from here actually. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Wafting the uh, strawberry and coconut yeah. And How easy is that? If I would on top of that, might trust me, it only takes five minutes. And send to the fridge for another 10 minutes. Done. That's all it is. And we've got some drums joining us I can hear, so hope everyone can hear us properly. <laughs> How's the festival going? Yeah, it's really good. Has everyone been to other areas in the festival? Yeah. Has everyone tried something good to eat? Yeah. Oh, have you tried one of our Moofree Burgers? Yeah, I've had the Moofree Burger. Yeah. So we've got, so Charlie's had the uh, Moofree Burger food truck down in the um, food area as well. So if you feel like a burger after this, um, go and check that out. And um, there's also Veggie Rama, there's Fun Animal Rescue, we've got hot dogs and some cupcakes. There might not be any cupcakes left by the time we finish, but yeah, there's a few, and just so many other options. Veggie Rama makes amazing food. I used to work for them. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. And that's how I first heard about you from Gucci. Oh, cool. You actually mentioned the events that you did together. Mm -hmm. So when you learn that. <coughs> Yeah, so most of the truck, it's uh, again our creation, the kitchen, the production which we share with them. Like I see how it's all getting done. It's quite nice. Cool. And what, is it just a truck or there's a restaurant? No, no, no. As well? Yes, we've got a restaurant at North Lakes. We're opening two more. And there's a truck which is actually traveling around Brisbane. If you're north side or south side, you, yeah, you'll be able to follow it. We'll let you know where they are. So, what I'm going to do now is cut some strawberries and put them on top of my very right and send it to our imaginal visa. <laughs> so when you put it in the fridge or the freezer, you're just trying to make everything stick together? Is that the idea? Yeah, no, all, all that's going to happen is that coconut oil is going to get hot, and that's it. That's pretty much what we'll keep it. That's how you work with most of the vegan things. 
When they make things like that, they take them to a bike and sit down and say, oh, I'm ready to get No, I just make them so long, okay. And then people are done. It's so cool. It's very delicious. It's how it's about. It's how it's about. It is how it's about. It's definitely eating that cake. You're gonna do some good things to your body. Very good, yeah. Send some love. Very good. Very good. Very good. Because that, that's the thing, um, I've been vegan for 20 years. 20 years ago, if um, you ate a vegan diet, it was predominantly healthy. Nowadays, lots of different vegan options that aren't necessarily that healthy. So if you want to um, just be aware of what you're eating a bit more and to kind of focus on those health aspects, just be careful with food that you're eating. I have yeah, a lady I'm a health coach, so you can take people for sessions like personal sessions to go to the health issues and there is a lady who came to me and said that she pretty old girl you can be vegan mm -hmm. same as her friend and all she did and make choreo cookies because they're vegan that put in the hand and stuff so yeah being vegan it's not about not just about technical choices it's about to making choice to what to get to know what to do with all of that yeah so if we say sell we don't mean just a free salad or something like that, it's actually a whole variety of salads and it's, it's again, that's what I teach in the class. So there you go. So that's our cookies, which is going to wait for us here because we're going to cover it in chocolate donuts. Am I still out of the drums? Or are we taking all? Can everyone hear it? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So what I did today... Pretty much on max here, so we can't do much more than that. Yeah, I'm going to just quickly give it a wash. So I'm gonna blend it. What have you got in there? Uh, I just put water. So oh, you're washing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna get to the truffles. Let's make truffles next. So you said you're a health coach. What does that mean? Health coach. Um, what do I do? People come to me with, well, I wouldn't say we're health issues. I don't actually do not take this in the serious health issues, but we were different aspects of the life which they try to maintain or get better. Like, how do I eat more salads? What smoothies do I eat? So it's mainly around cooking, but also, yeah, it's only believe that our primary foods are not food we eat, it's actually food we are. Career wins, relationship wins, so taking the person as a whole thing, the mind, the body, the spirit, the all together, it actually does not work. So that's very tough. We've got psychologists to go to if you think, you know, if you've got some problems. We've got the doctor to go to if you have a body issues. We've got all of that separate people who are trying to do this together. Yeah, sometimes you don't understand health not because you don't know it, because you don't want to, because you're, yeah. It's a whole, now I think, so yeah. So I'm using some hazel nuts. And again, same recipe is gonna go here. One cup of hazel nuts against one cup of desiccated coconut. Use the bowl. Then I'm going to add some plates. So we're making chocolate truffles now. I might need someone's help here. So actually for the truffles, does anyone want to bring it up? Yeah, I would like to. Yeah. Lovely assistant, Shane, to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Might just do that. So I'll get Shane. Yeah. Sure. Just give me a sec, we'll mix it together. What's your name? Wow, what yeah. an amazing line yeah. dance from the Southern Shaolin International Wushu Academy. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. And, and this is Shane here all the way from Adelaide. Oh, wow. Shane and I was all okay. came here for the Ladies Brisbane Lions Port Adelaide game that we've been talking about before. Um, I don't know if you call it AFL. We're, we're, we're going to be your host for this AFL supporters. Oh, oh, sport. Australian Football League. Similar rules, which is not that hard to make, but let's not go there, our more terrible stuff that we're using. The International Association of Queensland, we welcome you to 2017 Buddha's Birthday Festival. This year marks the 21st anniversary of the Buddha's Birthday Festival in South Bay. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of our sponsors and volunteers for supporting the event 
each year. Good song. Shane's had her practice. Shane's just informing me she's had practice of making balls too and rolling them. So, here we go. Good set. Can I push them off? Yeah. Five points, five quarter. Is the guy. Did you see that? Good song. Is that new? Ish? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a guy, I think, in Byron Bay. Oh, that's good. He's from the Chungtang Fire. I think. That was established in 2003 and held the philosophy of beautifying the world through their vocals. Yeah. Following the harmonious performance at the recent G20 cultural event. So, wanting it to be quite um, hard or equally, or would you just have to adjust now to make sure that we'll be able to try it all together? Yes, yeah, 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 so I'm going to add some more and blend it a little bit longer to make it as small as possible so we can quickly pop all the stuff. What do you think about I'm going to add some coconut sugar actually that it does harm. Something about making it that this what works really well is combined, is to combine sometimes some great sweetness in one Let's give them a round of applause. I don't know what magic happens there, but it does work quite well. So if you just make it just so much of the coconut syrup, mix them. And can you tell us about coconut sugar if people don't know about it? Coconut sugar, yeah, that's one of the coconut products that you use, so it's yeah, quite healthy for you. It is a very good form of sugar, but compared to rice mold, it does have a fructose. So if you're yeah, if you're watching your calories, just a second. That's something to be aware of. Sorry, I cook too much, so I need to spray the uh, sides, and I'll be ready to give it to you. Yeah. So we're gonna try to form small bowls so we can. Yeah. And then you're going to dip them into the chocolate. The chocolate is going to be a last bit of our fish. Chocolate is going to Sounds good. No. How many people in the audience are vegan? What about vegetarian? Um, what about don't really care as long as I eat sort of thing? Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll all get to be able to eat this today. So yes, I will just ask you to roll the small balls. Can you please try a little bit and tell me if it's okay? It's not too sweet, not too... Oh. Actually, it could be not enough sweetener, but I make everything not as sweet as nice. Because it's all gonna, chocolate's gonna, not gonna go on top of it, but I want it to be about Avocado chocolate mousse. I love avocados, it's probably one of my favorites. So I'm grabbing avocado. It's not too sweet, it's not too <laughs> So I'm grabbing avocado. I'm on the one whole avocado. Do you find that fact about doctrine of signatures is quite fascinating? That that should be taught in school about food affects our body, not what happened in the 17th century, I think that's not as important as how food grows. I did a question here from the kids, grade 3, and most of the kids nowadays don't even know where, how the tomato grows, how anything grows, they just don't know, I think it's all grown in the supermarket somewhere. Just uh, frozen bananas. Yeah. Uh, frozen bananas. Yeah, I can try it, no, it's 
some coconut sugar. Gives a caramel taste on that. Um, apart from salt being good for your body, it also brings out the flavor. So we also always add some salt when you make the chocolate. So that's a little tip of it you don't know but same as if you make any stir fries or any a little bit of sugar would be now better. So salt and sugar that's works that we went to a restaurant yesterday and have been sweet and not sweet and sour, so everyone likes it. And we don't understand why, because the sweet and sour sauce is made of literally a kilo of sugar, which is mixed with salt and then something. Oh, I feel like you want to eat more and more of it, but probably you don't want to, yeah? So be careful of going to a restaurant for places because that you don't know what it is, but you don't know. Alright, we mix it. merchandise sort of area, we're number 27, we're having a bookstore sale, we've got books for $10 each, there's a couple of raw vegan recipes, there's a lot of other recipe books, some ethics, and a lot of other books that you can have a look at, come and become a member, join in, if you have some skills like Natasha does and you want to be involved in some events we're doing, come say hi to me, let me know, and make sure you check out some of the other great food and other stores down there too. And there's a lot of other talks also. So lots for you to do. We're here until 9 p.m. tonight. So. And um, Natasha's gonna be doing the similar demo at about 3 p.m. as well. So if you've got any friends or anyone else who would like to let them know about this, please let them know. And we've got another demo at, what time's that? Four or five, I think. Here's my sign. Um, at 4 p.m., Ginger from Ginger in the Raw is going to be here too, doing Asian-inspired raw vegan food. Up the both sides, good. So that's the next demo, yeah? Yeah, up to you. So Natasha's going to do another demo with the same thing, and then Ginger's on. Yes. So you can decorate it actually very good for that one. Yeah. How to do so we have another helper, Andrew, over here with the um, chocolate, what did we call that, Natasha? Chocolate... Avocado chocolate mousse. Avocado chocolate mousse. Yes. Yeah. Which you can turn into ice cream, if you will. Put it into the freezer for four hours, then take it out of the freezer and blend it again to break the freezer. Which are formed and then, yeah, then you freeze it again and then take it out. It's going to take like the environment. The most important to think of how many people are there. Today, we're going to make more of them. You may have to share one with the person next to you. Oh, we do have more cups, so we, yeah. And we have more Okay. 
So let's welcome the Chongtian Temple Sunday Children's Buddhist Class. And what's your favorite thing to cook, Natasha? Salad. Salad? Or prepare, I should say. Um, salad, definitely. Salad's my favorite. We just made a salad and I counted. I only had 11 greens and 11 different types of greens. So I want to make sure that you don't stick to your spinach or rock it all the time. There's so many greens that you should explore. Go on the market, talk to the farmers. Try it. Try, try, try. Herbs and stuff, please. Make sure that. Um, other way I can try to use because I'm going to put it into a cup. Keep a spoon and each person can grab from the cup and pass it to another. You want everyone to try that? Otherwise. I'm so glad it's not cold because I was thinking about it like coconut oil is going to get hot and I'm going to melt it here. It's been beautiful weather all weekend actually. It's very cold. It's very cold. It's very cold. So I've got plenty of those two more halves here. And spoons, so please can kind of come grab a spoon and try some more cucumbers. Meanwhile, I'm going to wash my uh, jar to start. Have you seen the end of the day? Look at it. How are you doing? Take your banana, mix your avocado, add some sweetener, add some flour, add some cacao. Done. Nice. You can eat with your berries, with mangoes, with anything you like. Nice. Wherever you My five years old child knows that numbers are for counting, not for eating. If you see the numbers on it, if you don't recognize where it is, your body will never recognize it either. We don't want to feed the body something that your body cannot create because we never know how it's going to react on it, right? So that's, um, in here I want to touch base a little bit about cravings. Being a health coach and people coming to me and saying, oh, I crave salt all the time, I shook all the time, and what should I do, when should I cut it? Never. If your body has a craving, your body is absolutely the smartest, the wisest computer that can ever exist in the planet. Your heart doesn't miss a beat, your lungs don't forget to beat, it knows exactly what it needs. So if you're craving sugar or if you're craving salt, the best thing is to thank you a lot, Shane. Thank you, Shane. Everyone give her a round of applause. She's always a little 
with your body craving something, the best thing you can do is to give it in the natural state. So if your body asking for sugar, you constantly give it processed sugar, sneakers, bars, or whatever it is, your body will keep craving it. How to, what to do? Satisfy. See it some days in the natural state of sugar. Or if it's craving salt, the last thing it is asking is why it processed salt. It's not good for your body. Give it salt. Give it salt in many natural ways you can only have. Yeah? So put in some coconut oil. I'm going back to the chocolate. Originally the chocolate made with cacao butter and cacao bean and sweetener and if you like it milky milk and some salt and whatever pills you want to put in it. But today we're going to make um, coconut oil based chocolate because it's a bit weak. Yeah? So that's my fat here, which is coconut oil. We add in some sweetener, which is maple syrup. And because I do like to mix them, I'm going to add some kai small too. Uh, or a bit of yeah. uh, Some salt, very important for chocolate that brings out the taste. Some vanilla, you can use vanilla paste. Right? I like when people smile, it's very good. And some cacao, of course. If you're not gonna ask for a recipe, you just wanna keep it in mind. We are thinking of proportions one to one to one, one to three, right? So one part is fat, one part is sweetener, one part is great source of magnesium. Oh, so because I don't follow recipes, you just then I'm gonna check if the consistency is that I'm going Or I'm gonna add something else. I'm looking for a glass cup. Yes, thanks. And, and that fork as well, too. Okay. Um, the thing to remember about chocolate, ganache chocolate, do not overwork it. After blending it for more than 10 seconds, your coconut oil will split. After it will split, there is nothing to do with that. There is nothing you can do to that. It will split, that's just your foot to the bin. Now, the security dance is a non-profit organization based on the Gold Coast. Security yeah, is actually the challenge so word for cherry blossoms. Next chocolate is ganache. Is so that's what it looks like. like. How easy it was to make. If you're gonna put it in the um, ice cubes and add some nuts to that, add some goji berries, whatever you're gonna add in there, that's gonna be your chocolate. It's gonna be ready in 10 minutes. So also the fridge, put it in a fridge and yeah, indulge yourself. So that today gonna go on top of our cherry rack. So that's my dark chocolate. Yeah. So we know if you're gonna add some coconut uh, cream to that, we're gonna make it more milky, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's super, super easy. So I'm making some chocolate ganache on top of my... So if you added anything to this chocolate, you could put peanuts or goji berries or if you just would add, would you have to add anything else to it? Or whatever is your yeah. favorite thing, that's what you're gonna add in there. Like I like my chocolate just uh, as dark as possible, as DJ as possible. Mm -hmm. Without any nuts, so that's how I would have it. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put that here. I want you actually to see how it's done. So even it didn't go to the fridge, fridge and washing is perfect state to be cut. Honestly, I'm getting amazed myself every single time how easy it is to make, how delicious it tastes. What can be easier? Yeah, it doesn't need to bake, it doesn't need anything, it's full of nutrients for you, I can do it right away. So I'm gonna be gentle with this once you put it in a fridge, it's gonna get harder, it's nothing really needs to be extra done there. And Anyone now we're that? gonna pop, yeah? Anyone wanna take a photo up close? Come on, I know some of you want to. Yeah, so could, we, could you put a bit more something in there to make that? Spread a bit better or? Oh, I can spread it and then I do it with different ways. The chocolate will be a little bit more thinner. Yeah, then I can actually uh, just uh, draw on it. But mm -hmm. yeah, what I'm planning to do here though is to add some shredded coconut on top. Like that. So that's kind of the answer to the state. How it's going to look. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's how it is. I think the best way to try it is we're gonna. Do you still have your spoons? And we're gonna go, go around, just grab, yeah? Just grab a piece of it. I will try to cut it, yeah? We'll cut it, yeah. 
We might cut it a bit because I think some of you might want bigger spoonful than others. <laughs> It's actually quite interesting. I went to the yoga class a couple of months ago, and people came early and put their mats and just allocated themselves half a meter in here. Yeah. So the teacher came in, and there were more people coming, more and more and more. She was like, Guys, can you please, you know, close and stuff? And people start being grumpy, like, oh, you know, I came early and here, stuff like that. She goes, Okay, stop everyone, listen to me. The yoga is about sharing, it's about connection, it's about love. If you're here, if you just want to share a little bit of space, because you need more space than your mat do a yoga, then you're totally missing a conception. So I really love that, 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 that's so true. Sometimes you have to be reminded, don't you? Absolutely. So I, I think it happened for the reason, so someone did need that reminder. Yeah. That's what really happens when you go to the right place. You go to the right place, you get a message. Specializing in classical ballet, Highland dancing, tap, and jazz. Today they were performing a special selection. how lovely Helga Andrew will bring that around to all of you now. So I'm going to put some with chocolate ganache on our chocolates as well. And then we'll cut them. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, did you like... Oh. My chocolate was all the butter. Did you like it? You can't try it this time. You do need it, so you have to find time. You must, yeah. You can't. You have to know what you need. Yeah? And you can always make big batches of something. So oh, yeah. You can always, yeah. That's uh, what our classes are good for as well. That we actually, I teach how to make once a week meal, how to make your treats, sweets, uh, fitness snacks, or absolutely different things. Is that a bit of coconut sugar on top? Yes. Mm -hmm. And on the sum of it with a bit of salt, it does come super nice and so And now I will cut it into the pieces and oh my god, how many people I have here? Very good. You might just have to do half two quarters of straw. You might need to use your spoon, which is fine, but what are you gonna aim for at home? Is that perfect coconut tru uh, chocolate truffle? Yeah? That's that's very nice. You can add some cranberries in there. The reason I don't add cranberries lately because it's so hard to find them in organic state. Mm -hmm. And if they're not organic, they're just soaked in sugar. Absolutely soaked. So the amount of sugar you're gonna find in cranberries will be very surprised. Because I make nutritional panels for food as well. 
I'm actually, uh, nothing can hide from me. I look at it and I think, you know, my God, the natural finger is a two teaspoons of processed sugar. And we don't think it makes it for granted, or it's not. Oh, nice. Thank <laughs> 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 we had on Friday night for the demos, we had very loud drums. The first demo was okay, second demo and my talk drums constantly. So that was a challenge at times. So if you if we did have a fridge or a freezer, these would be a bit yeah, um, we'll stuck together a bit more, so just yeah. keep that in mind. So we almost done with our better right? So what do you think guys? Tell me if you like better right? No, no I like it. Uh, yeah. Put your hands up if you like it. Yes, <laughs> are the smiles and the, the smiles not enough? <laughs> yeah. Smiles are just what we are. That's what I said before about that I believe that in a primary thought. So if you are in a miserable relationship, if you go to work for eight hours a day which you don't like, there is no tale that can tell you, that they can tell you for sure. It's not going to help to make sure you tune in with your primary source of happiness, which is your heart, your relationship, your, what you do, how you do. That's the most important thing, yeah? That's sex. It is sex. So maybe in a health coach and teaching how to eat healthy, that's what we start with. Are you happy? What takes you to be happy? So those are the questions which I like to ask. Any questions? I hope everyone's got their spoons still because it's best to use a spoon. Do you want to take it and pass it on? Okay. Half, half to share. Um, Anyone else? Do you Australia's number one. Just be really Oh, nice. We have to all see about yeah. that. song. We welcome the J Percussion Music So, what's your look? Do you try two things now. So, avocado chocolate mousse and better right. Please raise your hand if you like better right more. Oh, but it's like strong hand right there. Yeah. <laughs> What about chocolate mousse? Yeah, quite a lot of ideas, Bridget. Yeah, I like it. So, you can add much of good nutrients into your cell, vegetables and fruit, mix with magnesium and with salt and with whatever can substitute the way to nourish yourself. Plus, you can sky is the limit how you're going to decorate it, what you're going to put on that as well. And what are the essentials? If someone wants to start um, cooking like this or make a root from like this, what are the essentials they need in their pantry? The essentials are that that's best advice how to eat healthy, don't buy fresh food. <laughs> eat healthy by buying the food. Because if I, you have a, if I have a sweet crave and I go into my fridge and there is like, you know, get very chocolate there, I might eat that. But otherwise, none of us. I'm gonna go and find something from what I have. And I can make any of this for myself. So what are my essentials? Nuts, seeds, sweetness. I'm really passionate about people understanding what are the meals are, what the nutrients are, what the protein is, what's the role of every single aspect in our life. So when I make a salad, I make sure that today I make a salad with certain loads of green, but it was in wine and there's the oil and it's so essential fat. So everything to nourish your body. So you, you don't need to just on the skin. Oh, my favorite thing is right on the first page of my website. In what I said, what's very important, I will say the whole healthy food and everything at all. It is much better to eat pizza with your friend than chew on kale on your own. Food should connect people. And that's why I don't like any names on the food which I make. I just, it's a healthy food. So it can invite everyone. So it's not going to create a separation between me and my neighbor, my family, or anyone. Yeah? Food should connect people. So that's everything that you saw today. Please share it with your loved ones. Please tell us, oh, that's what I learned today. You know, I know how to do it. Oh, you know, going to the national class as well. I'm so happy to see that. So and, yeah, and what we made today too, like everyone, people who are lactose free, who are gluten free, who are vegan, they could eat all of them, those people could eat everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. So no one's feeling ostracized or that they're missing out. No. And uh, if you are, have, actually, I'm quite get asked quite a lot if you were not allergic or any other allergies with that food, please feel free to email me, I'll be able to help you. I do have a few recipes you have created for the people who are open up.
don't like, even simply don't like coconut, that's enough as well. You don't have to like everything. There are some foods which you don't like. Please believe in your intelligence, in your inner intelligence, the body will let you know. Unless you constantly eat in London or something, your body doesn't want to talk to you anymore at all. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, well, everyone, please give right. Natasha a round of applause for having today. And what's your website, people can look up? kitchenremedy.com.au or follow my page or add me as a friend uh, on Natasha CKH on, on Facebook. I'll be happy to do that as well. So any way you want to connect with me, I'm happy to connect. Absolutely. I Thank remember you very much. she mentioned about her ebook, so make sure you Yeah, if you want to get it, yeah. If you want to get it, it's on a website for like 20 dollars but as I said today I'm absolutely happy to send it to you for free. So yeah. Thank you very much for letting me share my passion with you for what I really like. It's important for me what you hear, what you're listening, what you tried it, what you're gonna do it. Please, you know what? Statistically, 80% of cooking books are never being used. So people buy them, book them, and say, I don't want that to be my guest, I want you to go and do it. Alright? So I wanna sound everyone promise you in the next week you're gonna try this one recipe. Deal? Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone. Natasha's going to be here um, doing this again for the next hour, so let some other people know to come and have a look. And we'll also have another demo with Ginger the hour after that. And have a really good Thank time you. at Woody's birthday festival.